Good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic. And today, me and my good buddy David Germain, we're looking at Carrot Blanca. How you doing, David? I'm, I'm very good. Um, now, how, I, I actually don't know how old you are, Dave. How old are you? I am 43 as of this taping. Okay, so... We're roughly the same age. Um, you're about three years uh, ahead of me, but uh, you and I were, were probably uh, younger folks. We were in our you know late teens, early twenties when this cartoon came out, right? Yeah, actually, it'd be teens, wouldn't it? Bottom here, like ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember yeah. the first time you saw this cartoon? Um, not as familiar with this one. I think it was on like some compilation tape or something like that yeah but yeah. as you can tell look at look at all these characters yeah this is, i'd say this is like one of the most ambitious uh post mel blank <laughs> looney tune yeah made. yeah and uh this is uh bob bergen bob bergen and greg uh what's up doc Please help me, Mr. Bugs. I need you to I think this is like the second, like this, I think this is the second time only that uh, Bob Bergen did uh, Tweety's, ver Tweety's voice there. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, his, <laughs> first, his first one was uh, Space Jam. And, oh. uh, and I know that mainly because we had uh, an unpublished, an unpublicized uh, falling out, Bob and myself. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Bob, um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was the the shooting script that he had. Bob posted something on his Facebook page about uh, you know the, how was his first um, first gig, and he posted a picture of the the shooting script, and uh, and after it had it had been up for like three or four hours, nobody nobody had liked it and nobody had commented on it, and he he made a comment about it, and. I said something like, well, you know, you probably aren't aware of this, but a lot of the more diehard Looney Tunes fans really hate Space Jam. Mm -hmm. And you know how it is over the internet. When you, when you say something like that, you risk being misread as a hater or, you know. Oh, okay, and so he you know, blocked you or whatever? Or? Well, no, we, we, we worked it out, but he ended up taking down. We had a whole back and forth, and the entire post was just the two of us going back and forth. And eventually we had to take it to the messenger and then he uh he had to delete it but um uh, but yeah <laughs> like taking it outside <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and isn't this maurice lamarche that does uh sam here well, possibly. sounds like his sam um <laughs> uh, i'd say he's one of the more qualified uh voice actors to do sam because yeah not in He's a challenge to do. Oh, and here's the the late great uh, Joe Alasky doing Sylvester here. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he was he was the best I think at, uh, and here he is as Daffy as well. Yeah, and he's he's the best at doing an, a voice print. I think you know, imitating a voice print. Yeah, no, no, he do, uh, Daffy like uh, voice technically well. He also added like the. A real good uh, sense of like, uh, you know, fragile ego kind of thing. I mean, that's the thing about Daffy's voice is that you know what a lot of people don't realize with with Alasky pulling it off and doing it so in the way that Mel did it. It's like he's not just imitating Mel and Mel's performance; he's imitating Mel sped up three semitones. So he's able to impersonate the personality and the tone but also on a technical level he's a, he's able to achieve the same pitch that mel blank a performer who himself had perfect pitch uh was able to was only able to achieve with uh technical help oh for sure yeah doing a voice is not just walking up to a microphone and like talking silly like you gotta yeah. act in it you know express emotion <laughs> i love that gag <laughs> And I wonder how many people that love this cartoon actually are familiar with Casablanca. Yeah, you oh, can tell the writers of this cartoon like watched hang Casablanca. On, very hang on, hang on. I want to stop you because we got to catch this right here. What Daffy does, real quick. This is a reference to Dover Boys. 
She dumped me for a pool supply salesman. <laughs> those those real quick shots. I think I think I'm not positive, but I think they're uh, a reference to. Yeah, uh, next line did that. Yeah. In, they, in the bar- they drive me to drink. <laughs> and this is Tress McNeil too. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, doing uh, Kitty. Very, very what I don't understand though about how this was this cartoon was constructed is that it's clearly under somebody's you know the look of it is under somebody's you know control but this was 1995 not you know the 50s and so even though it says you know Doug McCarthy and and Spike Brandt directed it you know the look of, of, of a cartoon is not necessarily dependent on the director anymore you know at this point no, and no. S- so I wonder who was uh, responsible because the cartoons, the characters look classic, but they also have their own. This, like you, you've never seen them drawn in in quite this style before, you know. So it is an artist, you know, doing a, an interpretive job and not just doing straight what we've seen before. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm maybe thinking <laughs> the directors didn't have nearly as much control as say you know chuck jones and fritz freeling had back in their day because of because of how management was structured there's a nice gay joke for you in a looney tunes cartoon (laughs) you thought you thought looney tunes was too classy to handle prison rape you thought wrong (laughs) (laughs) and here's a reference this in this cartoon to um mel blank's old uh, radio uh thing where he would do the uh Yeah, he would do that on uh, the Jack Benny show, the uh, yeah. the, uh, the conductor call. But yeah, and uh, and also Spike Brandt, you know, he's a producer now, but he started off as an animator. So, you know, I wonder if he, and he's also a diehard Chuck Jones, you know, enthusiast. So, I mean, I wonder, did he, did he do character layouts on this? And is he, was, I should have really asked him before I, I did this, because I'm actually friends with him on facebook so well i'm hoping he did yeah well if not then somebody very talented deserves a lot of credit because he uh, supervised uh, a lot of people who did yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah and then of course we get a we get our our return with uh with tweety here doing peter laurie yeah. at the end all right folks uh go go to david's blog david Germain blog and uh we'll see you next week